Starting my own video. Okay. Hello, hello. Sorry. Ugh, just adjusting myself. Hello. Hello, Nina. You guys not melting in this heat wave? Well, actually, I forget. I don't know if... I, I just assume the whole country has the same weather we have here in the Bay Area, but that's clearly not true. What's up? Welcome, sir. Que paso, que paso. I've just been inside all day. Um, did dance class on Zoom. Mad hot in Houston, I bet. Damn. Oof. Jeez, 98 in Boise. Yeah, we're all we're all just melting through this. But hey, according to Trump, this heat is gonna melt the virus away, so yay. Um clearly that's not gonna happen. Drink water, you guys. And of course, say hello to my cat. Oh, there she is. That's Tinkerbell. She's always, you know, she's my little sidekick whenever I do these shows. She's usually like right next to me or where I'm sitting, there's like a little, it's like a little shelf and there's little um, nooks and crannies and she just sits like right next to me while I do these. Except last, or yesterday, um, she was, uh, when we tried to do this yesterday, um, my cat was being extra, just extra needy, and she was trying to steal my spotlight, you may have seen during the show, actually, I don't think anyone who was, anything, anyone here was here yesterday, so that's great, new audiences, oh, excuse me, um, yesterday was just truly atrocious, um, I slept for, like, um, Oh God, I slept for most of the afternoon. Again, this heat, like, it just makes me want to, like, sleep and chill. And um, I woke up at, like, s no, I woke up at 5. And I was like, oh, shit, I got to do the show in an hour. And I was like, I'll be ready, I'll be ready. But I was kind of rushed getting everything ready, and I forgot to charge my phone. And then uh, so I was running late because I needed to put some juice in the phone. And then my dumbass was playing with all the filters here on Instagram at the very beginning because I didn't know you could do filters on an Instagram live. And somehow because of when I started fucking around with the filters, I was like just being like silly and making faces and the sound got off sync. So when I had the recording afterwards, and I noticed it too on my end, but I thought it was something I was doing or because my phone kind of messes up too. So when I uploaded it, uh, when I uploaded it to YouTube, um, someone commented right away that the sound was not in sync. And then I couldn't upload it to IDTV. It just kept saying my internet connection was bad, which probably could have been the case because um, we did have like blackouts and stuff. Um, so all that's to say is, I, I just need to redo what I did yesterday and it'll be better because I wrote a few more jokes today. Hello everyone, look at the size of the jug. Oh, you're talking about this. I never know, sometimes men are a little forward with me. How many ounces does it hold? 32, it's a 32 ouncer. It's about the same amount that my jugs hold. <laughs> I'm just kidding. See, I do it to myself. But I've also got the, uh, get the alcohol. Hello, guys. Hello, gentlemen. Welcome back. You guys, we'll get started. Let me just get my, I do my own tech, as you know. I do my own tech with my iPad, because we're very, we're very advanced, very high tech over here. Yeah. Mm. Mm. If you don't know already, this show is brought to you by Evan Williams. I just think it's so funny that this looks exactly like... Um, what's the other stuff it looks like? Johnny, Wa Johnny Walker? 
Wait. What's so the the alcohol company that looks like this? Um, oh my god, I am blanking. How sad! I and I'm a bartender, or I was, um, but they totally copied the design and the packaging from Evan Williams. It's basically a similar product, but this is cheaper than. Oh my god, why am I blanking? It's not Johnny Walker. You know what? I'll think of it just at a very random. Jack Daniels. Jack Daniels. Yeah. Thank thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Ugh. I'm like, I knew it was like a really very like standard basic name, but wow. All right. You know what? That just means we need to get the show started. Evan Williams. Uh, you know what? You want to spend the extra money on Jack? Go for it. Um... I'm working class and you know what to me I've honestly never been much of a bourbon person but but when I was bartending at a theater in San Francisco we served this instead of Jack Daniels and um, we're you know we we serve like all the other alcohols are like higher end alcohols and I was kind of confused I was like this is a higher end bourbon um, and according to the head bartender, it is. Um, so I discovered this at work. Um, sometimes I have like a little shop before I start my shift. Um, and I really liked it. So now I'm expanding my alcohol taste buds, which, you know, nothing can go wrong with that. Okay. The ganja. Damn, I got to go buy some afterwards. I legit ran out of weed. I was trying to hit my my vape pen and it's like empty. It's like like you're it's there's just like a little line of fluid whatever. Jack Dan my poison is Jack Daniel's Tennessee honey. That actually sounds really good. I've seen that stuff and I would Oh fuck it, maybe I'll try that. When I'm done with this bottle, maybe I'll get that. Cuz that actually does sound good. Okay, folks, let's get started. You came here for comedy or for my jug, apparently. <laughs> um, let's get started. Brace yourselves, Bay Areans. We're in the middle of a heat wave. Good thing we've got WAP to keep us hydrated. Temperatures reached an all-time high this afternoon in Concord. In an act of solidarity with Concordians, this afternoon I, too, reached an all-time high. It's not just the Bay Area that's getting baked this weekend. Am I right? Boise, Houston? <laughs> Rolling blackouts hit the North Bay hard last night. Rolling blackout also hit me hard last night when I got so drunk I blacked out as I rolled down the stairs. But I didn't spill my beer. In case you're stuck in the heat, there are various cooling centers throughout the Bay Area. Uh, Bay Area News Update has obtained exclusive footage of what a cooling center looks like. <laughs> Remember, we're high tech. Oh my god, you can't even see this shit, huh? Ah! <laughs> oh no, it's so hard to see, but it's the intro to WAP. Okay, I fucked this joke up already. Okay, stop. I'm sorry, I really fucked that up, but we're just gonna keep going and it doesn't matter because I'm still cute. To assist the public with staying healthy during a heat wave, a doctor at John Muir Medical Center in Concord has some tips on how to cool down if you come if you become overheated. For example, you need to go immediately inside your house and put a cool towel over your face, which will no doubt be the next thing anti-maskers protest. Said one Karen, this heat wave is a hoax, just like the virus. I need my outdoor haircut. Tech thing. Tech, tech, tech. Tech, tech, tech. Senator Kamala Harris, seen here preparing to clap back at Mike Pence during the debates, has been announced as Joe Biden's running mate. The news is making her hometown of Oakland hella proud. 
except the people of color adversely affected by her prosecution record. Regardless of how you feel about Harris, her nomination brings a lot of firsts for women. Not only would she be the first woman to be vice president, she'd be the first black woman, the first South Asian woman, the first Indian woman, the first woman of color. She brings so many firsts to the table that Fox News can't figure out which type of racism to spew at her, which for Fox News is also a first. They're usually very good at that. But it hasn't stopped Trump from trying. Trump and his cronies may not believe in climate change, but they certainly believe in recycling when it comes to racist and sexist attacks against Harris that they already used on Obama and Hillary. Trump has called her nasty and is already spreading birtherism, claiming she wasn't born in Oakland. These hits and more are available uh, are available to listen to now on Now That's What I Call Cheap Political Attacks 2016. I actually made this. Don't look too closely. You'll see how shitty it is. In response to a recent court ruling ordering Lyft and Uber to classify their drivers as employees, the rideshare companies have threatened to leave California just as soon as their Uber arrives. They're threatening to leave California if they're forced to follow the state's labor laws, which is insane that they wouldn't want to follow them in exchange for being able to operate in one of the most lucrative states in the country. That's like me not wanting to follow my parents' simple rules for living at home. Like, is it really in my favor to complain about chores and not having boys stay overnight when I'm saving so much on rent? Your girl has a weighted blanket and a vibrator, so I'm good. Facebook founder and CEO Mark Zuckerberg's net worth has increased one to $100 billion during the pandemic, which he'll probably just use to support his sunscreen addiction. Oh, shit. Ah! Local doctors have come to the aid of the Oakland Zoo, which has been experiencing financial troubles during the pandemic, by providing medical care to Tusker the hyena for free after the animal fell ill. So if any of you are like me and are terrified of getting the Rona because you don't have health insurance, I'm going to drop a link in the comments for a very passable hyena costume. You're welcome. According to a Stanford professor who has been studying the effects of increased screen time in quarantine, our ability to focus for long periods of time has dramatically decreased. An interview with the professor was published by the SF Chronicle and can be read online if you still have the attention span. A waiter at Lucille's Smokehouse and Barbecue in Concord received a $1,000 tip from a customer doing a TikTok challenge by asking followers to Venmo him 50 cents. In honor of the waiter and the generous TikToker, I too would like to take part in the challenge by asking all of you, my followers, to Venmo me 50 cents. You can Venmo me at linda-landeros. Uh, I'll make sure to leave a link to my Venmo in the comments as well. When I reach $1,000, I will tip the first essential worker I see, which will be me, because when am I not staring at myself in the mirror? I'm so cute. Despite several San Francisco restaurants having to close down during the pandemic, a new restaurant is opening near Chinatown called Tacoria. A fusion of the words taco and Korea to signify the fusion of Mexican and Korean cuisine that it serves. Dishes served include kimchi ladas, Korean barbacoa, and K-pop amole. A passenger on BART accidentally sat on a used needle while riding the train. The chances of that happening are like the chances of Kylie Jenner appearing in WAP. Extremely rare, but hey, it happened. AC Transit has launched the East Bay's first ever rapid bus system called Tempo. To kick things off, they've released the following jingle. I've been waiting for this bus. Hurry up! Slow buses are for slow folks. Can't get to my job on one of those. I'm in a hurry. I need Tempo. Get to work on the tempo. Pity pat, pity pat, pity pity pat. Look at this bus, it's really, really fast. Clipper card, clipper card, clipper, clipper card. Buy me a pass, bus. I want to go far. That's definitely my favorite joke. 
A judge ordered a McDonald's restaurant in Oakland that was hit hard by a coronavirus outbreak to follow increased health and safety protocols. To put it in language more easily understood, the judge asked that the order of providing adequate masks and gloves to workers be supersized. Also said the judge, but um bum 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 I'm ruling it. A touchless crosswalk signal has been introduced in Santa Clara County, making it much easier for pedestrians to use due to it being activated with a wave. Allow me to demonstrate. So normally when, um, when you're trying to touch a crosswalk button, we'll see the buttons right here. You don't want to touch it. If you're like me, you touch it with your foot. But now this is much easier to use this new crosswalk because you just have to operate it with a wave like this. It's so much easier. I'm so sorry for putting my foot in your face, but I think some of you are into that. Um, so I'll make sure to drop my Venmo. I don't have Cash App, but if that's the best way for you to send me money, I will open one. So stay tuned. If you're getting restless and bored at home, the SF Chronicle has published an article on eight ways to rediscover the Bay Area's beauty during the pandemic. Coming in at number one is of course, me and finally the pga championship was held in san francisco drawing fans together outside the fenced off golf course on lake merced avenue hey what do you call it when spectators are all lined up and watching a golf game while peeping through a hole in the wall a glory hole in one oh yes that's what you call a slam dunk of a joke And that's your show, guys. That's uh, that's that's tonight's show. Thank you so much for tuning into the live stream. Thank you so much. Um, did I say Camel Harris? <laughs> Good effort. Thanks. Um, uh, I will. Uh, which one's your fave? Camel Harris. <laughs> well, um, that's the show. Uh, so hopefully, yes, I've been on a yoga ball. This, I don't have a chair. I use a yoga ball. Um, I just, I've, this is just what I've used for like the past, I don't know, three years, three, four years as a chair. Um, because when I'm sitting, I can like move around, I can bounce. Actually, I'm not gonna do that on camera because you definitely gotta pay me for that. Um, oh, the glory hole joke? Yeah, I love that one too. That was, it's a good one. Um, yeah, uh, it, what was I talking about? My ball, my yoga ball? Yeah, because it's, uh, it's therapeutic. I have a lot of back problems. You guys, uh, I seriously will uh, drop my Venmo in the comments um, since you got to see the bottom of my bare foot. Uh, I will uh, upload this to IGTV. Hopefully we don't have any technical issues this time. Hopefully the sound is okay. I don't see why it would be fucked up. I will also upload this to my YouTube channel. The link to my channel is in my bio. So... Uh, you can go click on that and you can watch if you haven't seen the first two, you know, episodes of Bay Area News Update, you can watch them on my YouTube channel. Actually, they're here on my Instagram. I just realized. Um, thank you. I did do a nice job, didn't I? No, I'm so I'm so cocky. Um, uh, make sure to follow me. I'm at La Linda Landeros. You can find me on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat. Um, mostly Instagram though. I don't really use those other ones. Well, TikTok I, I do like. Um, but, uh, here on the gram is where you can find me more easily. Tell your friends. Tell people, um, to watch. Tell people to follow. Tell people to Venmo me. And, uh, we'll do this again next week. I might just do this on Saturday from now on because, like... Actually, no, I usually work on Saturdays. Well, I'm going to play around with the day and time. Um, 
but I don't think Friday at six is going to work long term for me at least. Um, so we'll, uh, I'll, you know, just stay tuned to my social media or not. I don't really care what you do with your life. You guys, thank you again. I'll see you guys soon and have a good night. Stay safe. Wash your hands, wear your masks, um, drink water, drink Evan Williams or Jack, drink whatever the fuck you want to drink. No judgment. All right, bye. All right, guys.